Well, American Idol begins its 15th and final season tonight. It's the swan song for a program that was at one time must-see TV for the entire nation. The New York Times describes it as TV's last cultural big tent event, something that unites the country like the Super Bowl or the Oscars, something that was a weekly destination for all ages and many tastes. It's had its impact on the music world, and Jeremy Morris is an assistant professor of media and cultural studies at UW Com Arts. And he, here's with us today. Nice to see you. Nice Welcome. To see you. Thanks. Thanks for having me. How big of an impact do you think this program had over the last 15 years? Well, I think, at least in terms of the impact on the music industries, it really uh, pioneered sort of new marketing techniques for how to sell CDs in an era where people weren't buying that much music anymore. I mean, you have to remember the first. Um, Season was in 2002, which is right after Napster, just oh, yeah. as the file sharing kind of blew up, right? And so you have here a music industry that's in crisis, that's worried about how it's going to sell musical properties in an era where people aren't buying as many CDs. So American Idol really was this vehicle mm. for how to still kind of sell music, still how to brand artists in an era where people weren't buying that much physical music. Interesting. Anymore. At its peak, American Idol was garnering more than north of 30 million viewers, mm -hmm. which is a huge number. That's like a Super Bowl number. Yeah. Um, but in the past couple of years, that viewership has really tanked. What do you think happened, or what do you attribute that to? Yeah, I, don't know. I mean, certainly a lot of the articles in the newspaper suggest it was the fact that uh, there became more of a focus on the judges and less a focus on the, on the, on the uh, actual contestants. I think it started to feel a little formulaic after a number of years, and mm -hmm. also there were so many other shows that came up using the same kind of techniques and templates that the show pioneered. Uh, that it really did start to feel just a little bit kind of old and a little bit dated. But it was innovative at the time. Very much so, yeah. And it was the process of more of building stars rather than the music itself, don't you think? Right, so the, uh, you know, what I would say, you can say what you want about the individual songs on the show, but the, the, the show wasn't actually about the music and about the songs. It's more about the process of how to build a relationship between fans and artists. All those finalists leave the show with uh, you know, thousands, millions of people that are interested in investing in them further, right? Yeah. Interested yeah. in buying, you know, their concert tickets, their merchandise, any kind of thing that goes along, along with them, right? So the show was really more about, I think, that process, that process of how to build stars, right? That process of how to, how to make hit songs. And some of the biggest stars in the music world today came out of American Idol. Right. Kelly Clarkson, um, Carrie Underwood, Adam Lambert, those were all American Idol and they were, contestants. And they weren't necessarily winners either. Right, that's right. right. Sometimes yeah, the uh, finalists yeah. can be, yeah. No, I, and they've certainly seen success. I think in the recent years they haven't seen as much success uh, because, again, with the ratings dropping off, there's less people invested in the show, less people know who the winner was last time, right? So less people recognize that when they have a CD out or a concert. Mm -hmm. So you're going to watch last season just for old time's sake? I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> you know, I, I kind of tuned out a few years ago, so uh, we'll have to see if I it draws me back. Guess in. they're bringing back some of the old judges, that they're all going to be back for yeah. guest appearances. But and... it's interesting because uh, shows like The Voice, which is sort of a similar format, have been such an enormous success, and I wonder if it's going to take the same arc yeah. that American Idol is taking. Yeah, although I think The Voice has had less success in creating that kind of big star mm -hmm. like a Kelly Clarkson or something like that, right? They have, they have less success in that realm. And so it'll be interesting to see whether another show can do that sort of thing. I didn't have the whole audition process all over the country. Right. It's such a build-up. That's true. Right. That's a difference, yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, that show, again, it's about that process of becoming that. And I think that's really what attached people to the artists who came out of it and why there was such investment in it. We'll, we'll see if anybody watches. Oh, yeah. We'll see if anybody watches last season. <laughs> Jeremy, thanks for being with us. Thanks for Great having to me. See interesting you. stuff. Appreciate it.